Being able to see nature up close in your garden is probably one of the coolest things and over the course of a few weeks, I was able to experience the life cycle of a gulf fertility butterfly and it was just really incredible to watch. I had started to see some frass or poop on the leaves of this passion fruit plant as well as chewed up leaves and I had seen those green cabbage moth caterpillars on the plant before and in other parts of my garden on other plants so I assumed that's what I should be looking for. I didn't find any of those, but I did find this caterpillar and did a quick search to confirm my suspicion that it was in fact a gulf fertility butterfly caterpillar since I had seen the butterflies flying around the plant. And I found out that passion fruit plants also referred to as passion vine or passion flower plants are host plants for this butterfly. So let's take a look at the life cycle of this beautiful butterfly and start at the beginning. An adult female will lay her eggs on plants, and I was actually lucky enough to catch a female laying her eggs in front of me as I was looking for eggs to use for this video, and homegirl provided, and she started laying eggs everywhere on this plant right in front of me. So that little thrust of her booty is depositing the egg, and the focus is hard to get, but she definitely just laid an egg in front of me. The eggs are these small, ribbed, yellowish, grain-looking specks, and it's very common for these butterflies to lay their eggs on the tendrils of these passion fruit plants as she did here. Moving along, the eggs will hatch in about three to five days, and then we end up with little caterpillars like this one, and then they start to get bigger and more mature. And once they get to be this size, things start happening quickly. When the caterpillar moves into this hanging J or hook position for a few days, what's actually happened is they have spun a silk-like ball and attached their rear end to that ball to hang upside down. And then they start shedding their skin and head to prepare to enter their hardened chrysalis stage. And this part happens so fast, like blink and you'll miss it fast. This was only a few hours later where it had transformed into a chrysalis. And if you have dead leaves on the plant where they hang out, they will blend right in. And they will stay in this stage for about 10 to 12 days. And then finally, again, if you blink, you'll miss it. I came out to the garden first thing in the morning to check and the butterfly had come out of chrysalis earlier in the morning. And what we're looking at are the brown undersides of its wings but it was still hanging in place and it wasn't moving or opening its wings. So I came back out to check about 20 minutes later and it had flown off, leaving behind the shell of its chrysalis stage. I was sad that I missed seeing it take off, but then a few days later, I found another chrysalis and I went to go water some plants. And when I headed back in about 15 minutes later, I saw this one had come out of chrysalis and I saw it moving around and starting to open its wings. So I ran and got my tripod to do a time lapse to try and catch it taking off because I didn't know how long it would take. After several minutes, the butterfly had started to move away from the chrysalis shell. Then it started inching outwards a bit and fluttering, but not quite flying. And something interesting is that if you look at the drop of liquid on the leaf directly below it, that's from its wings. When they emerge from their chrysalis, they pump a liquid from their abdomen into their wings to expand them. After it moved to this spot, it hung out here for about 20 minutes to prepare for takeoff. And then finally, here it is taking off. So since I noticed it coming out of chrysalis pretty much as soon as it happened, I'd say it took roughly 45 minutes from that time to fly off into the sunset. It would have been cool to catch the butterfly emerging from its chrysalis on video, but unless you're monitoring them 24-7, you can never really know when things will happen. And again, when they do happen, they happen fast. These gulf fertility butterflies can live for about 14 to 27 days after they emerge from chrysalis but sometimes they can live a while longer depending on their climate. While they can reproduce in the spring and summer, you will typically see a higher population of them from August through November. And because these butterflies love passion flower plants, that gives me the perfect excuse to get all of the different varieties so that I can be a good garden hostess for them.